This is the MP Rotator Performance Data Chart. This is typical of a sprinkler performance chart. Of course, Hunter makes the MP Rotator, and they do a really good job. This is actually a, uh, I can't find a place to print this particular one. This is a, a link to their web page uh, that has these charts. They make it fairly easy. Of course, the MP Rotator comes in four configurations uh, as far as radius throw goes. There's the MP1000 with a radius of 13 to 21 feet. The MP2000, there we go. Sorry, got it mixed up there. The MP1000, oh, I'm sorry. The MP1000 has a radius of 8 to 15 feet. The MP2000, 13 to 21 feet. There's the radius right there, if you can see it. The MP3000, 22 to 30 feet. And the MP3500, 31 to 35 feet. Now, if you go back here, let's go back to the MP1000. Let's look at this chart in a little bit more depth. Over here on the left, you see the uh, arc configurations. You've got 90 degree, the quarter head, 180, half head, 210, 270, and a 360. And also, they don't have it here. There's also a variable one out there. Next column, pressure, PSI, pounds per square inch. You've got uh, pounds per square inch on the sprinkler. They give you ratings for actually 30 to 55 pounds per square inch. As you know, pounds per square inch has a, an effect on the throw. The more pressure, of course, the more uh, the, the further your radius will go out there. The recommended PSI for the MP rotators, though, is 40 PSI. You notice that right there. And uh, a question might come up: Well, how do I get 40 PSI? Well, a pressure regulator. That's one thing you can do is get a 40 PSI pressure regulator. Okay, for, at 40 PSI, if you come over here to the next column uh, under radius, it'll give you the radius or the throw of that particular sprinkler. And in this case, it's 14 feet. Uh, it'll do, you know, a half circle of 14 feet. In other words, if your sprinkler head is right here, the distance to right there is going to be 14 feet. Now, the diameter, of course, is going to be twice that, 28 feet. Now, when you're dealing with sprinkler heads, remember you want head-to-head -head coverage. So your spacing would basically be right around 14 feet. If you want to do a little, something a little bit heavier, you could go... Um, uh, you know, closer, a little bit closer. Okay, so you got the radius right there. The other thing you have, uh, flow. The flow of this particular head, and the flow is rated in gallons per minute, gallons per hour. Uh, in this case, at 40 PSI, your flow is 0 0.19 gallons per minute for this 90 degree MP rotator. Uh, gallons per hour would be 60 times the gallons per minute, and you come up with almost 11 and a half, that's 11.4 gallons per hour. Uh, and if you notice, pressure has a bearing on your gallons per hour and gallons per minute also. Not much, but it does have a bearing on it. Now the next, the next uh, columns, you have precipitation rates. You have precipitation rates uh, in inches per hour, and if you notice up here, they have a square and a triangle. And what does that mean? Well, under the square, that means that those particular sprinkler heads are in a square pattern. In other words, they, they actually make a perfect square pattern. Under the triangle triangular column, those, of course, are sprinkler heads spaced out in a triangular pattern. And if you notice, there's a slight difference in the precipitation rates with those patterns. Uh, the triangular pattern having a little bit heavier precipitation rate. And of course the precipitation rate is inches per hour. That's how much uh, water, irrigation water, is falling on the ground in an hour. Uh, one thing you'll notice too that these, despite the arc on these, they all have the same precipitation rates at the different pressures. In other words, if you look down here at 40 for a 270, 0.39, 40 for a 180, 0.39, and 40 for a 90 degree, 0.39. All these sprinkler heads, the MP rotators, have matched precipitation rates, so you can you can mix them on its own and not worry about having a, uh, a non-matched precipitation rate problems like dry spots, wet spots, things like that. So anyway, this is the Hunter um, sprinkler performance charts, and I'll show you some more in another presentation for spray heads and, and rotors.